Welcome to The Prince Eats. Here's a quick video for lobster bisque. Ingredients are in the description. If you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Of course, the star of this show is lobster. Here I have four lobster tails. I'm gonna steam them. I'm putting them over to the side. To create this dish, you'll need carrots and celery. You'll also need sweet onion, butter and garlic, tomato paste and bay leaves, heavy cream and seafood stock. You'll also need flour and white wine, although the white wine is optional. This recipe is really simple and easy, and you'll love it as much as I do. Grab your big pot and put it over high heat. And before I forget, I'll be using an immersion blender. However, you can use a traditional blender. Dump your butter in the pot and allow it to melt. While the pot is on high heat, dump in your celery and carrots. Onions are gonna go in next, but we just wanna give the carrots and celery a head start. Cook for approximately three to five minutes. At this time, the celery and carrots should be tender, so go ahead and add in the onions. Cook for approximately three to five minutes. Sprinkle approximately one teaspoon of salt and a little bit of pepper. The veggies should be tender, so now's the time to add the tomato paste. Cook the tomato paste in the center of the pot for approximately two minutes or until it breaks up. Next, you can go ahead and dump in the minced garlic. Reduce the heat to medium and cook for approximately two to three minutes. You might have some bits at the bottom of the pan, but don't worry, the white wine will deglaze the bottom of the pan. Those bits hold tons of flavor. Allow the wine liquid to cook down for approximately eight to 10 minutes. You'll know it's ready when you can no longer smell the strong smell of alcohol. As you can see here, the contents have darkened and that's what's gonna give the lobster biscuits color. At this time, you can go ahead and pour in the seafood stock. Here's where you can blend the veggies one of two ways. As you can see here, I'm using a handheld immersion blender. That works fine. If you don't have one, certainly you can use your household blender. Either way you do it, you just wanna blend long enough until the solid pieces are blended. For me, this took approximately one to two minutes. Squeeze half of a lemon into the pot. Add thyme and bay leaves. You can strain out the thyme at the end of the cooking process. Stir until combined. The next step is critical, and that's adding in the flour. Here I have a flour slurry, and essentially what I've done is slowly mixed in the flour into cold water. Certainly you can whisk the flour into the pot but you run the risk of having flour clumps. So try the cold water option. Next, turn the heat back up to high and add your heavy cream. Add some small bits of lobster to the soup just to give it some lobster flavor. Let the soup simmer for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. And just like that, you're done. Turn the heat off, set it to the side and allow the soup to cool. As the soup cools, it certainly will thicken. You can also take this opportunity to strain the soup for a thinner consistency or to remove the thyme. All that's left to do is plate and top with lobster pieces. Visit theprinceeats.com for more simple and easy meal ideas just like this one.